Meg Stamp and Sharon. There are two types of embossing folders. On this video, I'm going to talk to you about the differences and I'm gonna give you a really cool tip how to handle that dynamic embossing folder that you may have already purchased. Let me show you what I mean. On today's video, I wanna to talk to you about Stampin' Up! Whisper Whack cardstock or the very vanilla cardstock. There is a coating which makes it fabulous for stamping. It really absorbs the ink. Um, you get good crisp images when you stamp on um, the white or the vanilla paper. However, when you're using the embossing folders, because of that coating, you may notice um, a little bit of cracking, a little bit of, um, I won't say tearing, but um, kind of roughness to the image uh, or the design after you've run it through the embossing. So there are two types of embossing folders. One is just the regular style, which it's thinner. It would take two of the um, cutting plates to do good embossing with. And then there's the dynamic folder, which the dynamic folders are really thick. You can see the difference between the two types of folders. So it's really thick and you would only use one of the cutting plates when you're using the dynamic embossing folders. Recently for one of my classes, I needed to run about 40, 50 sheets of paper using the embossing folder. Well, what I was noticing is that it was kind of cracking and just giving a really ugly texture. And I know you probably can't see it on the video, but I wasn't happy with how it looked. Now, if you'll notice this side looks like, it, it feels like handmade papers. I mean, it is so worn out because I used this sheet as a shim when I ran all of those sheets, like 40 or 50 sheets, um, through the big shot, I used the same piece of paper. And when I did that, I got a much crisper image without any of the jaggedness to my design. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna try to run it through to see if you can see better what I'm talking about. So I am using two of the plates. I'm gonna use the curls and swirls folder. I know that on the video, you probably can't see what I'm talking about, but let me see here. Yeah, I bet you can't tell. It's just not, it's just not pretty. So to solve that, and so when I called Stampin' Up! about it, I was like, oh, what do I do? They told me to spritz the paper with water. Well, there was no way I was going to spritz 40 or 50 sheets of paper with water and have a bunch of damp paper and have it trying to dry all over my craft studio. So here's what I did. I took this piece and like I said, I mean, it is torn and worn and all of that, but use a piece, another piece of Whisper White or vanilla as a shim and run them both through at the same time. So let me show you. And, and what I thought was really funny is look how the paper got bigger. I mean, every time I cranked it through, it just kind of, oh, but like I said, it really feels like homemade paper. Okay, so I'm gonna take, and I'm going to run this through again. By the way, I have kept my embossing only folders labeled like this for probably 10 years and they are still perfectly straight. They're not all warped or anything. Um, they're a little worn, you know, I've, I can see some wear and tear marks on it, but they're perfectly straight. So when I use it for embossing, I don't have any um, warping in my plates, and so therefore I get good crisp embossed images. So I'm gonna sandwich my shim and I'm gonna run it back through. I really hope y'all like this tip. Let me know in the comments below if you find this helpful because, you know, it's just some of these tips that I do, it's in the course of a day where I'm just running, where I am just running things um, on, a daily bis on a daily basis and I don't realize how much it could help you. So I hope this one helps you. It's a little tight. 
voila, there we go, we got it through. So now I have a good image. I don't have any tearing or um, roughness to my design. And I can use this side until it looks like this side for a long time to come. Also, I can switch embossing folders. It doesn't matter um, what the pattern is. It's just the shim idea, okay? It's just that added layer of paper that allows me to get a nice, pretty embossed image without any of the cracking or any of the ugly marks is what I say. So, hope this helped ya. So as you can see, I didn't want to spritz 40 card bases to do my embossing. I hope this tip was helpful to you. If it was, give me a thumbs up. Have you already subscribed to my channel? You can do that below. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to spend it with me.